Hello and welcome to our podcast, The Junkies, with me, Dave O'Neill, and... Me, Kitty Flanagan, the sweet and salty roundabout. Get on board. <laughs> Get on board, kids. Where we just talk all about junk food, our true love. This is our second episode, and I made a few... Uh, Ambit, ambit claims or yeah. just straight out errors? Yeah, one one just error lies. in the first <laughs> in the first episode. I claimed to have something called mesophilia, which I said was an aversion to listening to people chew. Well, yeah, I looked up mesophilia, and it's actually an organism. It's a bacteria that grows at modern at moderate temperatures. So it's not what I said. So <laughs> um, you might have that too. Yeah, I, I, I did declare, I think, in the first episode that I, I have no education about anything but junk food. Yes. So, um, but I did um, I did look up compound chocolate. Yeah, what, what is the di- difference? And why it's so bad. Okay, and so, were you right? You were sort of right? Yeah, a little bit. Um, it's not a bacteria, so that's good. That's I'm, good. I'm, I'm doing well there. Um, normal chocolate is made with cocoa sugar and cocoa butter, and it's the cocoa butter that gives it the, um, I'm going to say, Unctuousness, Ooh, Dave. Yeah, it's a big word. That is a big word. Unctuousness. I'll okay. look that up and make sure I get that right for next yeah. week. I probably got that wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's another bacteria. Um, compound chocolate, and the reason it tastes so waxy is because they don't put cocoa butter in. They save money and they use vegetable shortening, oh, which is like that, wax. Yeah. Like if you've ever used a block of kofa when you yes. make chocolate crackles and you try and eat that, it's just like eating wax. Yeah, it's like eating a candle. Well, so yeah, so that's what compound chocolate is. It's cocoa. Uh, sugar and candle wax. And we're not fans of compound chocolate. Not a fan. Not, not a, a fan. fan. All right. So stop it, <laughs> compound chocolate makers. So, so I, 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 don't, I assume there's no boutique compound chocolate makers out there. Well, the chocolate box, who now put it on yeah. their pretzels. And, you know, who knows where it ends. I mean, they might just start <laughs> creeping it into all their other stuff because they do nice jellies as well, as in the raspberry jellies yeah. covered in used to be real chocolate. Who knows what it is now? And they do good bullets too. They're very good oh, bullets. They do do good bullets. Yeah, they do a lot of good stuff. Yeah, raspberry bullets as well. Maybe we should head to the airport even though we haven't got flights. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. <laughs> and uh, here's, a, here's another text conversation. These are real text conversations that we've had. We, we tend to be in doing gigs somewhere and we text each other late at night. Well, the sad thing is you're usually doing gigs somewhere and you buy stuff on the way home, whereas yes. I've really just been up to the supermarket that day and yes. bought stuff to eat in front of the television. <laughs> I feel like you're more justified than, than I am. But, yeah, I sent you a text saying, have you tried the pea crisps yet? With a photo? Yeah, and these were the salt and vinegar ones. Of harvest salt and vinegar, yes. And I'll tell you again, see, I'm so suggestible. The reason I heard about these was I was listening to... Um, Kate, Tim and Marty. Yeah. They, for some reason, were sent some and they were eating them on air. They liked them? And they mentioned them. Marty mentioned them and I went, oh, I might go and try some of those. And, uh, yeah, so oh, I, I was sh- asking you. And I say, I text back, no, but I will. I should have a break from twisties. I've never seen them. Because you eat a lot of twisties. I love twisties. Whenever, most of the time when I text you and say I'm eating this, you text back, I've got a party bag of twisties. Get a party bag. <laughs> it's always the party bag. It's a bag. huge bag too. <laughs> And I said to you to try and tempt you with them. Mm. If you're into vinegar, and who isn't, I can drink that stuff. Sometimes I eat so many pickles I get the vinegar sweats, which is true. But if you like vinegar, you have to try the dill pickle flavour of the Harvest Crisps. And I text back, oh, yeah, I love vinegar. Once controversially named it as my favourite condiment. (laughs) It's true. (laughs) Then you hit back. Yeah, it was a big vinegar conversation. Yes. So I don't believe that to be controversial unless you specifically named the two litres of white vinegar you get at Bunnings in the cleaning aisle as your favourite vinegar because I've got at least 12 different types of vinegar in my pantry and I've recently discovered something called drinking vinegar that you mix with soda water like a cordial. It's delicious. Wow, I just say I've never heard of that, which I've never yeah. heard of. Drinking vinegar. Seek it out. It's good stuff. It sounds like something out of the Victorian era. <laughs> you know, you read a, you read that fact. In the, in the 1800s, people used to drink vinegar like a cordial. Yeah, it helped you with the dropsy. Wasn't that one yeah. of those, <laughs> those diseases yeah. that you got back in the Victorian times? Well, we, we're going we're gonna to have a bit of a, a S&V, a salt and vinegar theme on the yeah. show. And in fact, my son asked me the other day, out of nowhere, he's only 11, and he, we were lying in bed, you know, the kids like to get in the bed with you, and he said, <laughs> do they put extra salt on the salt and vinegar chips? I'm like... What, is, what does he mean? 
well, do, do they add extra salt on the salt and vinegar chips? And I said, no. And he goes, then why aren't they just called vinegar chips? Ah. Because every chip has salt on it. Yeah, right. Okay. I just said it's a marketing thing. Salt and vinegar sounds good. It, everyone knows what salt and vinegar is. Would you buy a chip just called vinegar? I would, but yeah. then I, <laughs> I've already declared we've my es- hand there. We've established. <laughs> so I was given the task of buying as many salt and vinegar chips as I could. And he even stopped me. Because I said, great, I'll go and get some. And he said, no, I've got them all. And I went, okay, have you got Samboy? Because that is what I have always believed to be the best, the definitive salt and vinegar chips. But I could be wrong. Like and I wanted to have it in a taste test and see if I was right. And I said, yeah, I've got Samboy. But then I just produced them all. Yeah. I don't no have Samboy. Samboy. No. I've got Smiths. I thought like, in my mind, because it's a similar a red yeah, packet. It's a similar packet. I've really made a mistake. That I've was always the show bag I used to buy. Oh, yeah, at Samboy. The Easter show was the. Yep, Samboy chip bag. We've got to talk about show bags, actually. Yeah. We've got to discuss show bags at one point. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll leave that for another because, yeah, I was already lining them up in the head. Okay, <laughs> these are the ones I used to get. <laughs> My dad still goes to the show and he gets his all one show bag each. What, so, what do you get? Every, I bet you get twisties. Yeah, twisties. Yeah. Oh, gee, I'm pretty. Oh, licorice. Oh, the oh licorice, licorice. Bag's good, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, licorice bag is good. Do you know I often used to get the birdie beetle bag because oh, yeah. you got value for money in that, but you got a lot of birdie beetles. Oh, in there. stacks. <laughs> stacks of birdie beetles. <laughs> oh, all right, we'll, we'll be back with our taste test. We're going to try and find the definitive salt and vinegar with a little admission there is no sound boy. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll try and find the second best. Yeah, okay. Salt and vinegar chip. I just wanted to know maybe sound boy isn't the best, but in my mind. They're hard to find. The They're hard to find. They're hard to find. I always think of Dave Hughes and that he would know where to get them just because he did a Samboy ad years and years ago. Yeah, I always equate him with Samboy chips yes, now. Yes, he did. I think he did like a Zoot review for Samboy chips. <laughs> and I remember watching it on television and he was the most successful comedian. He was like riding yeah. high. Yeah. And then he's doing Zoot review for Samboy. And I was like, why is he doing that? And then I thought, oh, maybe he just loves Samboy chips like I do. Like maybe he really no, believed. Just loves money. <laughs> I know him very well. He just loves money. We did a popcorn fish ad together once for for some big South African. We, we sat on a couch and we, you know, like you have popcorn chicken? Yeah. We had popcorn fish. And, yeah, and th- they paid us decent money to sit on the couch and talk <laughs> about, and it was like a proper ad with a script. It wasn't just a zoot review. And they never showed it because the South African guy didn't understand the humour. He said, this isn't funny. And they never showed it. All right, we'll be back with a big salt and vinegar taste test. It's time for the big taste test of salt and vinegar chips. We're taking it really seriously. We've got them laid out in cups. We've got each packet next to each cup, so we know this isn't a blind test. But this is how DNA mistakes happen in labs, <laughs> you know. You know when someone gets accused of something and it's always a DNA? That I could easily see us doing that. We accuse the wrong chip. <laughs> I'm slightly concerned that we're comparing apples with oranges here because yeah. we've got a crinkle cut chip, we've got a thin, we've got two styles of kettle chip. I feel like it's not across the board with this is the best crinkle cut, this is the best thin. But, oh, okay. you know, it's... it's Okay. I, I think this will still be helpful for some people if you're looking, you know, if you're in a shop, these are all brands that you can buy easily and you think, which one should I get? We're here to help. And, yeah, let's be honest, we're not doing this podcast for ourselves, <laughs> just, to, just to eat junk food on a Wednesday night or whatever, um, you know, away yeah. from families and loved ones. We're not doing it for them. No. We're not doing it for us. It's, it's for the we're listeing, listeners. It's, it's to help. you guys. That's what I've been telling my wife as I buy it. It's not for me. We're doing a podcast. All right. Okay, so let's try the kettle salt and vinegar yeah. chip first. I'll grab one too. So this, this claims to be sea salt and cider vinegar. So, oh, you know. Oh, upmarket. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Okay. We'll see. D- turn your microphone on. Yeah, that got a very sharp flavour. Yeah, I think that's the cider vinegar. I can taste is, it. Is that the cider vinegar? I don't vinegar? mind it, but are you feeling a prick of sweat already? Yeah, I don't know yeah. if I could go a whole packet of those. Yeah, you get you do get the vinegar sweats with those pretty quickly. Usually I get through half a bag before I started getting the sweat. You've really broken out there. Yeah, I'm just... With a, <laughs> you've got a cider <laughs> vinegar sweat on. <laughs> I'm allergic to vinegar. I finally found something I'm allergic I think also that would be... Uh, I think, I, I'm think i not a big beer drinker, but I reckon that would be a good beer a chip to have. Oh, okay. I'm beer. not a beer drinker either. I do drink beer, but I don't drink a lot. But um, yeah, maybe maybe with a pilsner. A pilsner. I don't know what a pilsner is. <laughs> or a stout. I just I just wanted yeah, to I, say that I it would know. go it's well like a with German a pilsner. Sort of beer, isn't it? A pilsner. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on to the mm. next. Should we move on to the next 
Well, let's try the um, the next uh, the red kettle rock chip deli because this claims to be salt and balsamic vinegar. So we'll see if there's a difference oh, there in the vinegars. I love balsamic vinegar. Oh, that's this one. Okay, we'll just okay, we'll be we, turn the microphone uh, off again. Uh, okay, oh, one crunch. <laughs> 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 yeah, mm, mm. yeah, you can taste the difference in the vinegar. Yeah, you really can. This is, it's the a balsamic, mm, sweeter, not not as sharp. It is sweeter. Mm. It's a very very good pick. Yeah, mm. I I, I, pre- <laughs> I automatically prefer that over the first one over the kettle one. Oh, I don't know. I quite like the adventure of the first one. Mm. It's kind of like it's dangerous to eat them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's and like, I'd oof. probably have to slow down. Like I reckon I could eat. Those Red Rock Deli ones, because this is Red Rock Deli sea salt and balsamic vinegar mm. that we're eating now. I reckon I could get through a bag of those, no problem. Whereas these, the, the kettle. kettle chips with the cider vinegar, I'd have to pause. That'd take me a while, and I'd need, I'd probably need a couple of beverages. Yes, yeah. I, You'd really yeah. have to keep rehydrating. Well, let's try the next one, which okay. is thins, and I yes. love a thin. I love thins too. I love thins. I love a plain thin. Is possibly my favourite chip. Just the plain oh, thin. Really, you like my mum? Yeah. <laughs> she loves a just, plain thing. Just a plain thing, love. <laughs> I don't want any. I just want a plain thing. Because she probably just grew up with plain things. Yeah. Probably just the plain chip. Yeah. You know, that generation. That My mum grew up in the time when you used to, this is what they always used to tell us, they would buy their packet of chips at the at the cinema, at the films, mm. and it came with a little wax um, twist thing in it of salt and you had to untwist that oh tip your own salt on your chips and then shake up the bag of chips oh wow yeah i know i quite always quite like that idea yeah that's good yeah because there was they, they did i think it was sandboy went through a stage where they had sold oh, add your own salt yeah sachets of flavoring no flavoring i think oh, it was how we are how we are flavoring wow you're flavoring something like that i do love a thin so let's try the okay. thin grab a thin kitty and look that all oh, they are very thin compared to the kettle the, they, they don't they don't specify the vinegar so I'm going to assume it's just your plain white vinegar. We need a spittoon to spit our um. Yeah, like I've, we're like wine tasters. I feel like we're a pair of amateurs here, and we've done this in completely wrong order because that's a disappearance chip after those other two. That, There's nothing there on it. I can't it, taste anything after those other two. Yeah, and it also tastes very potatoey. Yeah, we I did reckon. them in the wrong order. We should have started there. Yeah, it it, it tastes quite subtle. Oh, I should have and had. Hang on, I have a palate cleanser and try. Have a palate cleanser because for me, I can actually taste the potato and salt in that, yes. and not the vinegar. It tastes more like a chip. No, oh, things you let yourself down. Hang on, just have a palate cleanser and we'll try them again because I just feel like they're they're being punished by the stronger vinegars. <laughs> you think that's what's going on, do you? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. I've got yes. diet coke as a palate cleanser. And oh, what have you got? Which is a good idea. I should have brought coke because it really does strip your palate out. Oh yeah, it strips everything. I'm I'm drinking. Peppermint tea, which is a bit pathetic. Okay, try another one. I'll give Thins a second chance. <laughs> nah, sorry, Thins. You yeah, let I'm us down. I'm just not getting a lot of vinegar. Nah. You'd be my least favourite child if you were, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> when you got up to play your clarinet, I'd leave the room um, at the concert. Yes. I don't know. I just I, – and I love a Thin. That's it. I, I've never really bought – those before salt and vinegar thins, and now I think I know why. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm hoping that the Smiths. Well, Smiths the classic. And this you is d- the one I always buy if I'm buying salt and vinegar chips. I always buy a Smiths. Same here, I think, and because I love a crinkle cut chip. Yeah. Crinkle cut chip is very good. Well, let's try one. This is a okay. classic, classic um, chip. <laughs> oh, don't knock it over. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't doesn't disappoint. <laughs> Does not. No. Nah. You know, packs a punch. Yeah, even after all those others, there's something about the crinkle cut. I think it holds in more vinegar. I don't know. Ah, uh, that's yeah. That's, that's a, the winner. Yeah. Would you agree? That's the winner. That's a cl- well without Samboy here to compare it to. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd give it to the Smith Salt and Vinegar Crinkle Cut. We, if we find some Samboy in a later episode, we'll get them in here and we'll yeah. test them against those ones. We just need to test it against because now we've decided that. The Smiths is the best. We just need to now test Samboy versus Smiths, I think. And I tell you what, it's going to be a great moment at the Smiths factory <laughs> when they hear this podcast and they'll be high-fiving each other. Whereas over at the Red Rock Deli and the Kettle one and the Thins, I'll just be... Well, thins, thins have got to take a good oh hard man, look at themselves. They're, no, they're, thin on flavour, I'd call yeah. that. <laughs> thin ice. They're walking on thin ice. <laughs> they've, let, they've let everyone down. My God, have a look at yourself. 
Um, yes, you're listening to the uh, Junkies podcast here. Now it's time to uh, do a segment called Please Discuss, where <laughs> yeah. we just bring up random things that we have a certain passion about. Yep. What do you want to raise? And most of the time I feel like we're always we're, – we're pretty in sync. There have been a few times where you've shocked me and I go, wow. I, I, Dark chocolate's a big one where we disagree. Yeah. Because you, I know one day you're going to open up the Sunday Life magazine and it'll be Dave O'Neill's Day on a Plate, which is my favourite. <laughs> have you ever done that? Where they ask celebrities what they eat and everyone lies. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of every day, the celebrity, whether they're an actress or a jog, a fitness person, they say they have a couple of squares of dark squares chocolate. Squares of dark chocolate. Oh, oh, does that make you angry? And you know why you only need a couple of squares of dark chocolate? Because it's not nice. Yeah, and you go, oh, yeah. Oh. No one ever says, oh, I just had a couple of squares of milk chocolate because no. you need to have at least four rows oh, of that stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, I've had enough dark chocolate. Oh, I'm already thinking we should do a milk chocolate taste test one day. We should. See if definitely. anything can beat the Cadbury family block. Definitely. Definitely. Because Whitaker's is pretty good. Yeah, all right. Okay, what do you want to discuss? The polywaffle. Right. Because there was a big to-do about them bringing it back. Coming They're back. bringing back the polywaffle. Where do you stand on the polywaffle? Not a fan. Snap. Yeah. Not a fan. Don't like it. Think the, it tastes like a stale chocolate bar. <laughs> yeah. The idea is good because I, I love a homemade wagon wheel and I love yeah. the wagon wheel of yes. I love the uh, – you know what I love? Marshmallow. Yep. I love biscuit. Yep. I love chocolate and I love it a jam. Yep. And so the polywaffle, which has everything, all except those jam. things except jam, but on paper the polywaffle should have been my favourite chocolate bar. Marshmallow. I can't get enough of it. Love, love it. the stuff. Love it. Plus chocolate and biscuit. And the name, Polly Waffle, it's like, and I just find that a mouthful of disappointment every time. It's like someone, it's like eating an old chocolate bar that you've found. Yes. It's just, it's stale. It tastes stale. You get chocolate bar regret straight away. Like, <laughs> I should have got, well, what's a good one? Picnic? Pic- Picnic. Is the be- one of the best. Yeah, one of the best. And they Peanuts. didn't need to bring out a dark chocolate version of that. No. I'm really disappointed in that. No. And I'll tell you another one that's really good and you never you never think of it. And I didn't eat them for years. Not Rolo, I, no. Not not Moro. Uh, Moros. No, nah, not not really into the, not the I'm Milky not, Bar. I'm not even big on Mars either. No, I'm not big on Mars either. Too much. Yeah. I start to feel sick. It's yeah. Like, oh, oh. But the one that Snickers is always better than you think, oh, that's not bad. Snickers isn't bad. I would never doesn't, buy one. Doesn't, no, I would never buy one. But no. I'll eat them if they come in those favourite packets. Yeah, definitely. The one that's always better than you think? The flake. Oh. God, that's a good chocolate Love a bar. flake because you know what? They're classy. And Look, I never uh, used to buy them. I always seem to think, why, why would you buy no. that? There's nothing in it. There's no nuts. It's just chocolate. And then once one day I bought one and went, oh, this is yeah. the best ever. The only thing wrong with it, not enough of it. Yeah, not very enough. Very small. They need to come in a double pack. The flakes used to have a very classy ads where they obviously were selling them the upmarket. Trying to make, were they make, classy or was it just a lady in a white dress on a horse that you liked? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The flake ad was very similar to the Alpine yeah, cigarettes, cigarettes ad. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, you never put, knew she's going to get off that horse and either have herself a menthol cigarette or a flake chocolate bar. You just weren't well, sure. What's your thought on the ch- Chiquito? Oh, yeah. I really like the Chiquito. Yeah. It's like a picnic. little bit sweet. Yeah. It's like, it's like mm. a picnic. Mm. It's it's like a a foreign picnic, like yeah. it's visiting from another country. Yes. You don't get them a lot. No, it's a little bit. Yeah, I bit love exotic. a chiquito, and I think it's got a rice crispy in it. It has. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good Ooh, one. Yeah. God, I haven't had a chiquito. Are they? I don't think they're still they, around. They come and go. Well, yeah. Bring it back. Bring Here it back, go. guys. That's that's the segment we wanted to do. <laughs> bring, bring it back. Bring it back. The chiquito. Forget the poly waffle. No one likes it. Nah, forget it. <laughs> bring back the chiquito. <laughs> Thanks for listening to our podcast. Dave O'Neill and Kitty Flanagan, called The Junkies. 